Hey, how's it going? Ben Morhan here, registered nurse, <clears throat> test observer for Headmaster. So um, I apologize that the first video regarding bedpan wasn't working properly. So um, this is the updated one. So be sure to view this to do good, to do great on your um, skills test if you have uh, bedpan. So I wanted to share my screen real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so again, remember, log into hdmaster.com, type this into the URL, and then you'll click on the Michigan Mock Skills, and then also on the Michigan Candidate Handbook. So once you click on that, you'll be able to view all of the skills here. Okay, and the one that we're going to be going over is assist resident with the use of a bedpan measure and record urine output with hand washing. So remember, this is one of the possible mandatory first tasks that you will have to complete. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, what is bolded, you have to make sure you get that because if you do not, that is automatic failure. And then also this, if you don't do this, it is automatic failure. So make sure you're, you're counting and singing happy birthday to yourself as you're washing your hands. And then also do not recontaminate hands at any time during the hand washing procedure. That is also bolded. Okay, so um, the candidate handbook is very important as well. So as you can see, I'm gonna pull it up here. And if you scroll down to, um, this is all the information that you need to know. If you scroll down to, to skills tasks, and you click on that, you can see all of your skills here as well. So again, be sure to review that because you're not sure which skill you're gonna have. But for the purposes of this video, I am going to review a bed pad. <clears throat> All right, so again, remember um, this is public information. You can go on YouTube, search, you know, um, Bedpan CNA 2022, and you have all of these videos pop up. So I'm going to critique you, um, well, this video on um, headmaster requirements. So um, I'm going to mute what they're saying, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about um, what I want you to do or what I expect or what headmaster expects you to perform while you're demonstrating your skills. All right, so these are the items that you need. And with <clears throat> Headmaster, just remember that um, everything is going to be in a um, centralized area. So all of your equipment. You can perform hand hygiene before. You're going to knock, knock, and introduce yourself, explain the procedure to the patient. You're going to gather your equipment. You're going to apply correct size gloves.
So I did want to mention that with Headmaster, um, once you are actually testing, there is going to be an actor in bed. So there's going to be a real person. So she's lifting up the bed. Um, it's not required to lift up the bed, but if you do, remember at the end of the skill to place the bed down. <clears throat> Be sure to review a standard bedpan and a fracture bedpan and take note on the proper placement. I've had candidates place the um, bedpan upside down. I've, it, it was just a, a total mess. So make sure you check placement and place it, position it properly. All right, so she's getting ready to help the person turn. <coughs> Okay, and just pay attention to how she's going to place the bedpan. Okay, so did you see that? That's the correct placement. I'm gonna post a link to this video as well if you wanted to watch it. But be sure to listen to all my comments and uh, take notes. It is only going to help you in the long run. All right, so you can see that she lifted up the head of the bed. So that is important as well. So just remember that if you walk in the um, resident's room and the head of the bed is already elevated and they have to use the bedpan, you have to play some supine. It, it is very difficult for a resident to turn or whatnot with the head of the bed up. So make sure when you position and remove the bedpan, you um, will make sure the, the bed is, is flat, okay? And the resident is supine. When the resident is using the bathroom, right, on the bedpan, um, make sure that the head of the bed is up at 45 degrees, all right? So that way gravity can take place. Okay, then you will stand outside, give toilet paper, right? That is really important. A lot of students forget that. So toilet paper is important. So leave it within reach and make sure the call light is within reach as well. So then the test observer is going to tell you, okay, this, this resident is done. So then you're gonna walk in and complete the task. So again, now to remove the bedpan, make sure the bed is flat and the resident is, is, is in a supine position. All right, make sure you um, position the resident properly. And once you have the bedpan, you'll place it there. The test observer is going to pour a liquid in there. And then make sure the resident's comfortable.
then if you have a barrier, you can dump all of the contents into the cylinder. Okay, measure it and remember that number. Then this is one of my pet peeves. So dump it in the toilet. I have students dump it in the sink. Please do not do that. Um, dump it in the toilet. And when you're rinsing it, dump it in the toilet. Okay. That's just the infection control. And that's one of my pet peeves. So make sure you dump everything in the toilet and flush. Okay, then you'll fully dry your equipment. So again, return all of your equipment to the centralized area. Remove your gloves the proper way. Just remember test observers look in, right? And then with this skill, you have to perform um, hand washing. <clears throat> So make sure the bed is down, right? At a safe level, make sure the bed is locked, right? And then um, also <clears throat> make sure the resident has the call light. Okay, so after the resident used the bathroom, this is a checkpoint and this is very important. So, um, you're going to wash the resident's hands. So a lot of students, a lot of candidates miss this skill. So wash the resident's hands with soap and water. Okay, so she's washing the hands. She's rinsing and she's drying. Yep, just remember after you use the bathroom, you gotta wash your hands. So the resident has to wash their hands and then dry very well. Okay, then dump everything in the hamper. Empty your equipment, rinse, dry. And then again, for this skill, you will have to do hand washing. So again, make sure the bed is down, make sure the call light's within reach. And then record your output. Okay, and then for this skill, if this is your first skill, the tester will actually time you scrubbing. Okay, so remember, it's not 20 seconds when you turn the water on, it's 20 seconds when you apply the soap and start scrubbing. So make sure you're singing happy birthday to yourself. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. Comment below if you want additional videos. Um, thank you for the students that caught the first video. Uh, it wasn't working. So um, again, your comments are important. And um, I really want everyone to be successful. Thank you. Take care.